All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great week. It's Friday. Almost made it to the weekend. Just one more day. One more day. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> okay. Continuing on with our YAD, uh, our YAD series. Today we're going to build just a very basic GUI for an application launcher. Okay, not going to go really in depth, just going to be very basic. So let's see what we can do with that. Let me open up PC Man FM is root because I'm going to put this in user local bin. User local bin. And I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this YAD test. Okay? YAD test. Let's go down to it, open that up with our text editor. And I will put that down on the taskbar. Let me increase the font so we can see a little better. All right, and we are going to call this uh, with bash. However, we're going to do this a little differently. Uh, from what I've read, and I can't remember exactly what's going to happen, but there are going to be some changes to bash coming up. So instead of doing crunch bang bin bash, we're going to do crunch bang user bin envelop bash. Okay? And that will supposedly allow it to continue working even after whatever those changes are that's coming to bash. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. So, <laughs> all right, let's, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> let's go ahead and do this, let's see, um, oh, hold on just a minute, hold on just a minute, let me change this, my good friend Bruce, this is for you, buddy. We're going to change to a dark theme. <laughs> so maybe it'll be a little easier on his eyes. Okay. Well, now let's open that up again. Oh, I didn't change the root appearance. One moment. <laughs> One moment. Just give me a second, Bruce. I'm sorry. Customize look and feel his root. So we can change the root appearance to be dark. Add way to dark. Papyrus dark. Neo Dweda dark. Okay, now. Phew. Okay, let's try that again. File system root, user, local, then, yad test. All right, here we go. <laughs> there you go, Bruce. I hope that helps, man. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is call YAD. We've got to call YAD if we're going to do YAD. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to give this window a title. So dash dash title equals, and we will call this, oops, my super duper window. 
put that in quotation marks, dash dash title equals my super duper window, skip a space, and we're going to give this, uh, let's do a width, we want to make the width of the window equals, uh, we'll do 500, okay, that doesn't have to be in quotation marks. I'm just guessing at that width. I don't really know if that's going to work good or not. You can always come back and adjust it however you need. Um, let's see, window icon. That will be the little icon right up here in the left corner of your window. And let's do oops, equals, in quotation marks, I'm going to do my own, I'm going to use my own little icon, okay, and I think that is found in, oops, user share, uh, Neo Linux, icons, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's called neolinux.ping. Okay. So you can put the path to any icon you like. It, I think it'll work if you just put like the name of the icon. But it's been a while since I've done this. So, you know, you, you can try just using the name of the icon let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and do that just so we can find out together let's do text editor okay we'll find out if that works you might have to use the actual path to the icon um, we're going to do text align equals center. In other words, any text that we have showing in the window is going to, it should center it. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. I never have been able to figure that out. You might have to go in and kind of fool around with the text, you know, the spacing on your text. But we'll try it. We want this to appear in the center of the screen, so dash dash center. Um, we're going to do buttons. Now normally I use the form uh, option instead of just buttons. I'll do a form one maybe in the next video. But we're going to do buttons dash layout equals center. Um, and finally we will do the text. This is what we're going to have, you know, whatever little bit of text you might want to show in the window above your buttons. Let's see, text equals, hmm. Uh, it has to be in quotation marks. This is my super duper window. And close quotations. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put a back, a backslash. Alright, so we'll go down to the next line. And now we're going to add our buttons. Let's see, what can I have this window do? Button equals, uh, let's put a quotation mark. All right, the first thing we're going to do is terminal. That right there, that's what the button is going to say. 
okay in other words when you see this window appear on the screen this button is going to say terminal now we're going to use an exclamation point as a divider and we are going to uh, the next part will be the icon we use uh, I'll just use Sakura I can't think of a another icon off the top of my head system terminal maybe just terminal would work I don't know <laughs> Anyway, I know Sakura has its own <laughs> uh, icon, so we will we'll use Sakura as the icon. Put another exclamation point, and um, the next one will be a tooltip. If you hover over the button, it will show a tooltip, so open the terminal okay let's close that quotation put the I never can remember what I can't remember what that's called <laughs> you're getting <laughs> tutorials from some idiot that can't remember the <laughs> proper names of punctuation <laughs> Anyway, you put one of those little doohickeys right there, <laughs> and and next will be your uh, executable. So my executable in quotation marks will be X term. Okay, and a backspace, a backslash, <laughs> and we're going to add another button equals file manager and I know Thunar I don't use Thunar but I know that has an icon for a file manager open the file manager as the tooltip close the quotation marks put another doohickey right there <laughs> and in quotation marks PC man F M. Okay. And a backspace. A backslash. Alright, so we're gonna save this and hope it actually works. Okay. Now let me change the properties so that anyone can open it okay now let's try that let's see if it'll appear up here in the run command yad there it is over there yad test oh and there it is <laughs> this is my this is my super oh no Sakura's not what happened? Did I do something wrong? Sakura. Well, let's just try terminal. There we go, terminal worked. All right, if you see how close this icon is to the word terminal, what you can do, if you don't like that, come over here and just put an extra space or two. There we go. A couple extra spaces. And now let's try that again. Add test. Oh, it wasn't in the. Hey, like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> so, oh, I need to put the spaces next to the name. I'm sorry. All right, let's do it right here. Terminal one, two. 
file manager one two now let's save that guys I'm not proud I don't mind if I'm messing up and now we have a little bit of space in between the icon and the actual name that appears so here's my super duper window I didn't have to go 500 let's go ahead and change that real quick let's try 300 okay oh but it doesn't get my whole window name in there okay let's try 400 and it still doesn't get it oh dear all right let's just go to 450 if this doesn't get it you you get the idea of what you'd need to do just just adjust that until you get it where you want it there we go my super duper window now another thing see how close where it says this is my super duper window let's do something to fix that get a little more space in there so I'm going to take this where it says text. I'm going to go within the quotation mark and the T in this. I'm going to go down a space or two. I'm going to go down between the W and the last quotation. I'm going to go down a space or two. saved it okay this is the last I'm gonna do with it because we're just doing something basic we're not trying to make it perfect all right now we have some some meat to this application let's see if it actually works <laughs> let's hover over terminal make sure we get our tooltip open the terminal open the file manager now let's see if those buttons actually work I'll click on terminal and it opens X term I'll click on file manager and it opens PC man FM we did it you can do it too <laughs> all right guys um, there you go just a very oh and there's the little icon we we made text editor as the icon for the window. So there you go. How to make just a basic GUI as an application launcher. Now tomorrow or another day we will do a different one where I use the form instead of just the buttons, which I actually prefer using the form option myself because you can you can set how many columns you want and stuff like that. It's a little more involved, but not much. So there you go, guys. I hope that helped, and you guys have a great weekend coming up. All right? Take care.